job, buddy. Saturday morning. Um, it was very cold for the state of Alabama. It was about 25, 30 degrees. Um, a little bit of frost on the ground earlier that morning. Um, I had eight of my beagles with me and um, we was ready to run some rabbits. I was hunting some national forest lands. Now I haven't hunted public land in a very, very long time. Most of the land I hunt 99% of the time is private land. But uh, it's a national forest not too far from my house. So I was like, let me try this National Farm. So drove in there, found an area where it was some little swampy area where I figured it'd be a couple of cottontails and swamp rabbits. So I turned the beagles loose and uh, we had a good time. Hey, um, Dolly is barking in the distance. Hey, Tyson. Dolly was about, I would say, 40 yards away, and she struck up a rabbit, and she uh, started hitting it a little bit, just chirping, just trying to get it up. Uh, I say it took Tyson probably about 40 seconds to get over there to him. By the time he got in there with her, they started chir chirping along, and the other dogs joined in, and um, we had our first rabbit up for the morning. Just seen the rabbit across the road. Dolly had got the rabbit up, Tyson joined in, all the other dogs were running, and they just pounding and pounding and pounding this rabbit, hard as they possibly can. Um, coming to the road, I was walking up the dirt road, and all of a sudden I seen the rabbit just shoot across as fast as it possibly could. Um, a few minutes later, uh, maybe a minute or so later, Mayweather comes out, and he he is the only dog that came out. He's probably running about 20, 30 yards in front of the other dog. I don't know how that happened, but he, he, he dabbled with it a little bit right there at the road to figure out which way it went. But once he figured out it had crossed and went to the other side, man, did he just start pounding. And I'm talking about the other dogs were like 20, 30 yards behind him. And here he is just pounding, pounding, pounding for probably about 30, 40 yards. And I'm talking about pounding as if the rabbit is right in front of him. And he looking at the rabbit running. He was just pounding, pounding, pounding this rabbit. Running it hard. All the other dogs actually stopped. Um, they came on across the road, joined back in there with him. Um, after a while, after they caught up with him, and the race was on again. They was pounding, pounding, pounding that rabbit.
had the perfect view of the dogs. The camera was right on the dog. All of them right there and together coming straight towards me. They get to the road and all of them just stop. And I'm saying to myself, please don't stumble in front of the camera. Please don't stumble so everybody can see you all lose this rabbit like this. But they stumbled and went to searching everywhere. And I'm talking about it was a long search, probably three to five minutes. And I'm thinking, well, the rabbit just came on across the road because the rabbit, the dogs barked all the way up to the edge of the road. On that, on that, on the opposite side of the dirt road, so I assumed that the rabbit had came across. So I took the liberty of, after they searched a while, uh, of calling some of them over there, saying, "Look over here, look over here." Um, they searched over there and went right back to the opposite side of the dirt road. So I said, "Man, where's this rabbit at?" Uh, I just let them do their thing, let them keep searching. After about five minutes, uh, I heard every chirp. I knew they had had the rabbit. What happened? The rabbit ran down that dirt road, went back a little piece, and then jumped over to the what was to my right, which was to their left. Jumped over in that that big thick brush pile, and it just sat there in that thick brush pile without moving. Uh, wasn't trying to escape. It was just gonna let those dogs search all around them, and it was gonna sit there in comfort, knowing that they had got away from the dogs. But after a while, probably about five minutes. Ebby and Mayweather right there. Ebby started chirping, Mayweather started chirping right behind her. Once again, the rabbit back up. I don't know how long we had been running by this time, but they had been pounding him for a long time. So they was getting right, right tight on that rabbit. He was looking for some, some way to escape. Ebby smelled a rabbit, but she's so hot though. She, well, I thought she smelled a rabbit. Caught him coming across the road. By this time, they had been running this rabbit probably about an hour plus. So I knew the rabbit was getting tired because the dog seemed to be getting closer and closer to him. And, and then the rabbit just started making little small circles. I'm talking about he would go out about 50 yards, come back almost to the road, would not cross the road, but then turn around and go right back. And the different one dogs would pick up the little checks on the turns. And they would pick it up right away, pick it up right away. I'm talking about where it wasn't even a 10 second breakdown. And, and they was pushing and pushing and pushing him hard. So I knew the rabbit was tired. I knew they was getting close to catching him. Um, and the rabbit made one little dart. He actually crossed the road right where I first seen him at. When they first jumped him and he ran up about 100 yards and then crossed. I, I, he crossed, tried to cross in that same area. Just so happened this time I was standing there. Threw up at him. I had a good, good uh, shot on him. I harvested the rabbit as he was crossing, come and come um, right. it was a good race. And then the dogs came. Um, the dogs probably was 30 seconds a minute behind him. <laughs> there you go. Tyson <laughs> ran on the first time. Dead. Dead. Dead Tyson. Good job, buddy. Good job. Dead rabbit. Dead rabbit. Man, that rabbit. Dead rabbit. Good job, drone. You the one brought him back. Dead. That's a good running rabbit. Man, they rent that rabbit about, a, about an hour. 